So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Now, this video, we're gonna be talking about the six months ownership about the MG ZT. Now, I previously have done a video about it. If you want to probably have a look on my channel, if you're new and have a look at that video first, then come back to this one. I've just taxed the vehicle and uh, which, Unfortunately, it wasn't the cheapest, which we'll get into right now. What can I get into first? Well, I would be outside, which I've come pretty much out here in the middle of nowhere to record a video, but it's quite windy and I don't think you'd probably be able to hear me that well. So what we're going to be doing is doing this inside. Now, first of all, when I got this vehicle, it was actually in good condition, very good condition. Pretty much ever since I've tried to make it even more, well, I have made it even more reliable. Try to detail the car as much as possible. There were a lot of scratch marks inside of the door handles. So what I did was pretty much just polished up and it, you can't even notice any type of scratches, but it was like pretty badly scratched. What else have I done on this car? Uh, a major service is probably the biggest thing and the costliest, I would say. It cost a few hundreds, but the next day I pretty much had gone and went on a bit of a road trip. Pretty much went to like a few places here and there as you can probably see on my instagram as well again so if you're not following me on instagram follow me on there asap this is the m47r r being the kind of rover mg engine and so the m47 is the bmw engine now i previously talked about the engines and stuff like that it's pretty much a bmw engine but tweaked a bit better for performance one of the best engines and that's why you'll see most of the mg zt's and ZTTs in this variant of engine which you've got also the 1.8 turbo petrol then you've got this engine the diesel then you've got the two and a half liter v6 i think that's a kv6 if i'm correct and then you've got the v8 4.5 i think it's 4.5 4.2 or 4.5 mustang v8 which yeah the prices on those they're kind of holding their value well so potentially might just get one of those in the future but to be honest i don't know about the mpg though because um yeah maybe like i don't know i'll think about it by the way as you could probably tell from showcasing some of the video of like the car it's british racing green the facelift version it's got the xen uh, xenons it's got the green interior as well so if you're watching this video you're potentially either looking to probably buy one of these cars or just had a browse as to what this car is you might have come across it and then just been like oh well what type of car is this and you just do the google search uh well youtube search or wherever you've just found me from and then you've got well people that will just watch me just because of my content and out of way when you compare this type of vehicle in comparison to what what i would say as the competition as at the time the bmw 5 series well to be honest they were more comparing themselves to the 3 series but the way that this car is like built and just the dials and the the, the classy interior it's just i love the dials honestly if i had to I think it's actually one of my favorite well mm, there's so many things to, there's so many things that i would say that are good about this car especially like just the timeless it, you just don't expect it to be which is a 2005 car but that's because it's the facelift version so and this car was registered days before mg rover went bust there's another nice view there ownership wise what have i had that's gone wrong to be honest, the car isn't in tip top condition uh, there are things like this window which has a lot of scratch marks which you can't really well actually you can tell yeah you can tell for example when i'm looking out the window here it's like yeah you can see it might potentially get that changed but it's not too much of a like a proper hassle to get it changed what i'll also show you is is the seat the driver's seat which has this rip well it had this rip ever since i pretty much got it this here, this here, this here, which isn't too much of a problem, but I might potentially look into getting that fixed uh, because it just, I, I bought it like that. Um, and what else was there? There was that and also the boot. Uh, a tiny bit of water wants to somehow decide to go into the boot, but it's not too, mm, how can I say? It's not too excessive. It's not like there's a massive flood and I'm going to expect fish in the back of my uh, ZT here. Um, but it is something that if you were to leave your car for a long period of time, it might just be fish or um, or maybe a new habitat evolves in, <laughs> in your uh, boot. But either way, uh, you've got the cloth and leather interior. Uh, as I say, say here, you know, you've got the nice... They knew who they were, what they were doing at the time. And um, of course now MG is Chinese, owned by the Chinese. And they don't really make these types of cars anymore even though i've sat in some of the new cars and stuff like that sat in hs sat in this zs but 
it's just not a classic like more sportiness of mg and stuff like that and they're making you know these crossover suvs and stuff like that which i can understand why because business wise it makes sense um to get cars sold because that's what the market kind of demands is those types of cars and speaking of that on in january 2023 which we're recording this video in february mg hs was the best-selling car in the uk um, and i think that's in terms of registrations i think there was about three thousand registrations for the mg hs and that's pretty much the larger suv what else is there to mention there's a fire going on there so this is actually the automatic version which is more rare to find than the manual version as you can see here so it's got yeah it's got this nice like chrome gear stick here uh what else is that uh, i think i do like the smell of it I've had more experience with the ztt which is the touring model than the saloon version and what i remember when i was younger is the kind of smell of the leather and i know it sounds like really kind of weird to explain it but it's just like i can still ever since i pretty much stepped in the car before i'd even bought it and stuff like that i can still smell like the leather the same leather that I'm, i got that I was used to uh, when i was younger so i mean it depends upon who what you're looking for if you're potentially looking at uh, getting a saloon or maybe the hatchback version something like that i think in terms of design wise and aesthetics wise that's why the zts and the ztts are prefer them because design wise in terms of the interior they look more premium um i think what they could have done with the hatchback versions which is the zr and even the sports model the tf mm, it's just i think they could have used the same dials as what's used in the zt and the ztt so you can see here and they also like light up blue i think on the rovers it's like a yellowish i've had the rear light to turn on because that's very bright brighter than the rear light itself so um i pretty much wanted to get that sorted uh, it didn't cost too much so but it's just one of those things where i kind of wanted to have that to whoever's behind me can actually see that i'm breaking because that last thing i want is somebody to go into the back of me if you're looking for a saloon type of car and you don't want to spend a fortune and stuff like that i think this is a very good choice and as well especially if you want something that's british as well and there's some interesting colors that you can find there on the market as well i'm probably going to end off the video here i would step outside but to be honest it's just too windy well, actually, maybe it's settled down now. Over where? That was a nice video. And I actually forgot to mention this because I said this in the beginning of the video, but I didn't say I was going to... I said I was going to continue. £330 it costs 12 months tax for the automatic version M47R. R, ah, remember the R, because it's the Rover MG tweaked version uh, of the BMW engine. £330 for 12 months. Now, the manual version of the same type of engine... Guess how much it costs. Type down in the comments below and tell me what you guess that costs. So 330, remember this. 330 I just paid a few days ago to tax the vehicle for 12 months. Any guesses how much the manual version costs? Of the same engine, 220. 220. It's 110 pounds more dearer, but you have the automatic gearbox. Now it depends upon what you really want. It's just more of a cruiser. That's that's literally the purpose of this vehicle is to cruise with and that's what I plan to do more with really. Tell me where I should visit with this car actually. That's a good thing I can ask in the comments. You can list any type of place. Well, maybe mostly Europe, please. Don't list like Antarctica. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications if you want more videos like this. And I do plan to make more videos if it does well, which it really did do well when I made the ZT kind of is it the best sports saloon at the time because it's currently at 970 views or 975 views and it's been out for five months probably it's coming up to six months but hopefully this video does just as well if it doesn't then oh well it's just a bit of experience of me just continuing with video editing and stuff like that but anyway hope you have a great day and i will catch you guys later make sure you subscribe notifications signed on and make sure you drop a comment in the comments below of where i should visit in the sky thank you so much take care